session daily updates, I'm Sarah Allen. The House floor session is anticipated to begin soon. Let's take a look at what's expected to be addressed before we join members gathering for session. will come to order. <laughs> Prayer by the chaplain. Would you please join me in a moment of prayer? Gracious God, our creator and redeemer, we pause today to recognize and acknowledge you. We thank you for the privilege of living in this most blessed nation and this state overflowing with natural beauty and wonderful people. We know that whatever we might choose to believe about you as individuals, you created and love each and every one of us all the same. It is with that faith and trust in you that I lift up the men and women who gather here today. I thank you for their hearts of service and their passion for the proper care and governance of Minnesota, and pray that you would give them strength and wisdom to complete the task that they have been called to as stewards and legislators of our state. You are clear in your word that we are to honor and pray for our leaders that they might lead your people in humility consistent with your commands and precepts. We ask that you would bless their efforts as they consider and enact legislation for the safety and the benefit of the people who have elected them to serve. As they do and as disagreements might occur, we ask that you would bring healthy healing and wholeness and unity to this legislative body in order that they might govern for the good of all people. Even as we struggle to find ways of leading and living in harmony together that do not offend or marginalize anyone, holy God, let us not grow so cautious and correct that we offend and marginalize you, the first lawgiver and the author and creator of all life. I would pray that you would bestow upon each and every one of these men and women the blessing of the presence of your spirit to lead and govern in ways that honor you first and foremost and that bring unity to each other and to this state that you would grant them wisdom, and that you would give them hearts of compassion, truth, and integrity that transcend the differences that might divide us so that we might be a people living in peaceful harmony, united in our service of you and each other. These things we lift to you, gracious God, trusting in your loving care and provision for all of your creation, that in and through us your will would be done. Amen. Amen. Members, the chaplain for today is Pastor Steve Bakke from the Open Door Christian Church near London, Minnesota. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, The clerk will take the roll.
clerk will close the roll. Quorum is present. The clerk will read the journal of the preceding day. Journal of the House 89th Session, 103rd Day, St. Paul, Minnesota, Thursday, May 19th, 2016. If there is no objection, further reading of the journal will be dispensed with and the journal will be approved as corrected by the chief clerk. Hearing no objection, the journal is approved as corrected by the Chief Clerk. Comparison reports. There's a copy of the sort of business on each member's desk. If there is no objection, the motions will prevail. Hearing no objection, the motions prevail and the sub substitutions will be made. Second reading of second of Senate file. Second reading, Senate file number 588. Second reading. Second reading, Senate file number 877. Second reading. Introduction of bills. The following House files. The following House files have been offered for introduction today. The Chief Clerk will report the House files and give them their first reading. Introduction of first reading of House files 4018 through 4021. First reading. Messages from the Senate. I recognize the member from Hennepin. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. I move a recess to the call of the chair until approximately noon. Rules Committee will meet immediately after recess in the basement hearing room of the State Office Building. Republican members, we will caucus after rules in room five of the state office building. Representative Erdahl, for what purpose do you rise? Uh, thank you, Mr. Uh, um, uh, speaker. <laughs> uh, I have a point of personal privilege. State your personal privilege. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker and members. I just want—I don't obviously speak on uh, on prayers uh, opening the uh, the session, but today, uh, just I would like to make special mention of the fact that uh, Re Reverend uh, Baki uh, was my seventh grade history student, and uh, his father Lloyd, who is also here today, I taught with for 27 years. So I, I find a little more. Uh, meaningful today. Thank you. Member from Hennepin, Representative Hortman. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. DFL members, we will caucus in room 200 after rules adjourns. Representative Erdahl. <laughs> thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I, I forgot really the most important thing. No, not most important. Oh, second most important thing. This is cheese day today, and so when you return, when we return, uh, save a little bit of appetite because there will be cheese from First District here today. The member from Carver, Representative Nash, for what purpose do you rise? Mr. Speaker, just a uh, question for Representative Erdahl, if he would yield. He will. Representative Nash. Well, Representative Erdahl, I remember in, uh, in good humor you mocked my cheese from Carver County, and I wouldn't want to pass up an opportunity to ask, uh, you know, if we could mock your cheese today as well, if you'd be open for that. Representative Erdahl. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And Representative uh, Nash, it's, you, you can't mock First District cheese. I was really talking about your pickles. Pepin moves. The House do now recess until the call of the chair to approximately 12 o'clock.
today. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. aye. All opposed? No. The motion is approved.